Hi, everyone. We are in our final video for Chapter 5.2, Exponential Equations. In this video, we're going to be using our graphing calculators to look at how to make an equation using exponential regression. So as you can see on my screen right now, I have the steps that we're going to be working through on my calculator on screen. And you'll see that our uh, first step, enter our X into L1 and our Y is in L2 by pushing the stat and edit uh, options on our calculator. We're then going to push our stat button again and use exponential regression by scrolling down to that option. And that's going to be able to give us an equation that's going to be of the form y equals a times b to the x. We're going to be doing that with problem number 10 down below here, right here. And we didn't use that one before, so we're going to be using it for this example right now. So we're going to be now going into our calculator here to do that. So let's now move into the calculator. We have our calculator up on screen right now. And we are going to be going in and uh, entering in our points first. So we push the stat button and then hit enter to enter our edit menu. We're gonna put it into L1, our first X value of zero. And nine is the Y value that goes with that. So we have our first point, zero comma nine. And then we are going to put in two and 49 into our second row. So if you were trying to guess what the equation is going to end up being for this problem, well, if we do nine times something to get 49, well, that is going to be not quite a perfect number. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 6 is 54. 49 is in between those. So we know it's going to be probably somewhere between 5 and 6. But we're not really sure if that's going to be accurate enough for what we're doing here. So let's start and uh, try to do this problem right now. So now that we've entered that in, we have all the buttons I pushed down at the bottom. And you can pause the video there, but let's clear that out for now. So now that we've done that, we need to get the equation that we're looking for. So now we put the stat button again and go over once to calc. And then that we're going to just scroll all the way down until we see EXP reg or exponential regression, which is this option right here. The ninth one down, which is option zero. So let's push enter once. Our X list is, is L1. That's where our X's were. Our Y list is L2. That's where our Y's were. So that is all good to go. So we just hit enter a bunch of times. So we have to calculate, hit enter one last time. And we see our answer. So we are going to write that down on my paper as Y equals 9 times 2.33 to the x. So let's graph that equation on our calculator to see what it ends up looking like. So we have our y equals menu and let's type in our calculator what our equation was 9 times 2.33 to the power of x. So we have our equation. If I hit graph, I could take a look at what that looks like. Oh, well, I see it right there. But we want to extend our window a little bit so we can see the points that we chose. Say we're 0, 9, and 2, 49. So we want to keep our x min the same, but we want to be able to see uh, 2. So we have our x's that'll work, but our y's aren't big enough. We got to go all the way up to past 49. So let's go 5 past it up to 54. And then we can hit graph and we'll be able to see enough of our equation. But we can't see the points we just did. So let's clear out our steps here and plot those two points. So to do that, you push the second button and then Y equals brings up our stat plot menu. So we're going to choose plot one and hit enter. And then enter again to turn it on. 
and then we're done because we have this part right here where our scatter plot is and that is going to be the picture we want l1 and l2 are fine the marks are just personal preference so if we now hit graph we can see that our point right here and our point right here are the two points that we were looking for and our exponential equation worked out perfect we were able to make one that go th goes through those two points in our example and that is how you would use your calculator your graphing calculator to find these points this is possible using desmos but it is very challenging and is kind of more on the programming part of math that might be above the level we are really looking for in math three so this calculator portion would be slightly easier, I think, than doing the algebra version we covered in our last video. So that concludes chapter 5.2 uh, with our third video on determining the exponential equation between two points using exponential regression and our graphing calculators. I will see you guys next time in chapter 5.3. Goodbye for now.